Today we get back another order from PSA. What's up guys, we're back. We have another PSA return. I know my voice is still a little bit gone, but I think since it's a shorter video and I have half the clip, I actually still had my voice because I did it before, should be okay. We're getting back five cards that we submitted like a month ago. They're gonna be some pretty good ones, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you guys have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what grade you think each card got after you see it in the pre-grade. Before we get into the pre-grade, GG Vision sponsored this video. He restarted his channel. He has a new channel. He's already posted seven videos and his next video will be posted right after this. Here's a clip from his new series that he wants you guys to see. So because we're two turns into this duel, we're one turn late for Yugi to begin cheating. Just summoning another monster, even though I'm pretty sure it never went back to Mako's turn yet. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that! Actually, Yugi, it's quite common for a giant jellyfish to sound exactly like a blue whale. Yugi pretends that the Horn of the Unicorn is a quick play spell card, using it on his feral imp to fill the ocean with electricity, a concept that apparently has to be explained to Taya by Joey. And water conducts electricity! Oh! <gasps> Whoa, that is so smart! You know your education is in trouble when Joey's the one explaining basic chemistry and physics to you. If you guys are interested in checking that out, make sure to check out his video. It will be linked in the description. Let's get into the pre-grade. Let's attempt to grade or pre-grade these cards before we send them to PSA. So we have a Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons. This is the Prismatic Starlight Rare, whatever you want to call it. It looks pretty nice when you look at it under the light. Back does have what seems to be some scuffing or something. Maybe that would actually give it a 9. We'll see. Wait. Okay, so there is a little bit of scuffing, which could possibly cause it to lose something. So the, uh, the corner looks pretty good there. Corners are all looking pretty good on this card. I think the front corners were good as well. Very nice, and very nice. And then the centering looks pretty good for a starlight. They're they're sometimes pretty off-centered. So for this one, because of the back scuffing, I'm going to have to go. We did go five for five last time, so I'm feeling the pressure right now. But I feel like this will probably get a nine without scuffing. I would hope for the ten, but we will see. Second card, we have a Stardust Dragon Collector Rare First Edition. So this is a pretty cool card from Toon Chaos. I never pulled this one. I did get it from that collection, so let's see. Corners look pretty good. Maybe a little whitening on that top right. Maybe a little bit on that bottom right. It's hard to tell with this foiling. It You can't tell if it's whitening or not. Back surface looks amazing. Wait, let's check the back corners. Back corner is good, 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 and good. This card looks really good. How's the centering? Centering is good. This card, I think, should get a PSA 10. We will see. But I'm going to go with my prediction of PSA 10. Good start, good start, a 9 and a 10. Then we have a Shooting Star Dragon Ghost Rare. Just check out that foiling. Okay, so as you can see, there are a couple of scratches, but for a Ghost Rare, it is pretty clean. So very nice on the surface overall. Corner looks good, corner looks good, corner and corner. Was there a little spot up here? Okay, wait. Okay, we got that off. Okay, so overall, just a couple of scratches, a little bit of foil. Uh, some there's, there's those little dots on the ghost rare, but that is not too big of a deal, I don't think. Back surface appears to be pretty nice. Corner looks good. Corner looks good. Corner looks good. And corner looks good. So overall, this card's really nice. I mean, the foiling is not completely perfect, so that's the only thing. And because it's a ghost rare, it's really hard to grade these. So there's a couple of scratches right there. My prediction is a 9. There is an outside chance that it could get the 10. I don't think that it's going to happen, but I'm going to go with a 9. If this gets anything under a 9, it's like a crime. That thing looks amazing. Next, we have the Dark Magician of Chaos First Edition. I do not own this in a PSA 10, so this would be pretty cool. So let's check the surface. Looks pretty good. Top left corner does have some whitening. You can see it there. Top right looks pretty good. Is there a little bit of whitening right there? Can't tell if it's whitening or not. Let's check the back. Oh, oh wow. This I missed this. Pre okay, we can't. We, we're not going to grade this. I didn't see that when I was looking at it because uh, I think this would be down at like a six or a seven, but we will not grade this, unfortunately, but still a nice card. Then we have a Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. I think this guy was, okay, I thought it was good, but I also thought that that demock was good. So top right, nice, nice. Let's see if the back has that same thing as the demock. It doesn't. Corner looks pretty good. Corner looks good on the right. That corner looks good. How's the surface? Pretty good, especially for IOC. Bottom right, wait, is that something? Oh, there is some whitening on that. Let's check the rest of it. Okay, pretty good. Do I think this could get a nine? I think this could maybe get a nine with this, with that corner. Overall surface looks good. How's the centering? It's a little bit OC. This could even get an eight because of that corner. I'm gonna predict a PSA eight on this thing. We're still gonna send it in though because it's a really cool card. So PSA eight for that one. Because our demock was not up to snuff, we are gonna instead send in this Dark World Dealings that we pulled out of Strike of Neos, the booster box. So we're gonna send this in instead. Top left does have a little whitening. Top right, a tiny bit. 
And the bottom two look good. Top left and right look good. Yeah, those look good. Surface looks pretty good. It does have the box for the ultimate rare, but it's not too bad. Uh, this card is super clean. Honestly, this does have a chance at the 10. But because sometimes with those ultimate rares, it can be difficult. I'm not totally sure. Let's try to focus in there. Yeah, just a little bit of whitening there. It is super nice. I am going to predict the 9, but I do think this does have a 10 chance, so that would be really nice. Now, let's get back to the present and see what the grades are. All right, let's get into this. Voice is actually coming back, I think, so that's actually pretty good. It's slowly getting there. It's still a little bit gone for sure, but uh, that was a pretty fun uh, pretty fun event that I, of course, lost my voice before it even started, so that was great. And uh, if you guys didn't see the video, the collab with Sam and Team APS, go check it out. That was fun. All right, let's pull this out. Okay, let's do this uh, starting from this one. So we're going to take it out of the sleeve. Let's see. I don't even remember all five cards that we sent in, to be honest. So we're just going to have to check these out. We have Dark World Dealings. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, we have Corners. Pretty good. Corners look pretty good there. How's the back? I mean, this card was super nice. We pulled it right out of Strike of Neos. You guys can check that video out if you missed that one as well. Uh, the front was pretty good. Maybe a little bit of whitening on that top left corner. Looks good there, there. And there, okay, overall, I think this one's pretty good. I think we get like 9 to 10 on this one. We will see. It's an ultimate rare. Mint 9. Ah, okay, that would have been really cool to get a 10. But I know it does have like a little bit of whitening there. It does have the uh, ultimate rare imprint on the back, which is pretty normal. So, I don't know. I don't think that's too bad. But, oh, well, a 9, not terrible. All right, next card. I don't remember what the next card is, but let's get it out of the sleeve. Next card, corners look pretty good on that left. A little bit of white. I mean, they're, they're not really white. Oh, whoa. What is that? What card is this? Did I send it in with a ding on it? Oh, the BLS. That ding is pretty bad. That's like going to be eight at least, right? I don't know. Okay, let's see how the surface looks. Pretty good. Oh, wow. That thing's like straight up dinged. Yeah, unfortunately, that's probably going to make it be an eight at best. I'm going to go with, I mean, we already guessed, I guess, but I feel like it's going to be eight at least. Wow. Wow. It got a nine with that corner. I guess this was the only thing wrong with it. That is an ugly corner though. That is a real ugly corner, but that is a real, I mean, that's a nice card. PSA nine. I mean, it looks really good on the front. Like for sure. It looks really good, but wow, that is an ugly back corner, but on the front, like you'd think this was a PSA 10 centering is good and everything. Uh, back. I mean, you don't see much. Okay. We'll, we'll take that. Okay. Three more. Let's truck through this thing. Let's see what we can do. Back corners, we have nice, 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 and nice. And then the back, I don't know what this card is. We're just checking it out, though. Uh, it looks super minty. This might be the Stardust. Oh, no, this is Shooting Star Dragon. Oh, my gosh. If this gets a 10, guys, I'm going to be careful because of the voice. So, you know, we got to be careful. But dang, that is a clean card. I think there was a couple of, like, minor scratches on the Ghost Foil. But it's really hard to find. So, I don't know what to expect. But check that card out, guys. I think I guessed a 9 on this one. Should be at least a 9. I don't know. I'm a little bit scared to reveal it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, no. A 7. What is happening? Oh, no. Okay, we must have missed something. I missed on the pre-grade, too, because I didn't see anything. Oh, no. I mean, there's gonna there are some scratches, I know that, on the foil, but it wasn't a lot. Man, what is it? Centering's good. I don't know. I can't find anything. It's always really hard to tell in these corners if they're, like, bent. Like, maybe this corner is bent up there. You guys see that reflection? There's, like, a sleeve in there, so it's really hard to tell. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I don't remember anything in the pre-grade. Might have missed it. All right, that's pretty sad. I'm a little bit sad about that one. Uh, I was hoping for a 9, at least, on that one. Okay. Okay, the back on this, the corners look nice, very nice. Okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna be more of a like an ASMR video in this. I'm like, I'm like whispering the whole time. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, nice. All right, how's the centering on this guy? Stardust Collector Rare. It's pretty good. I think it's a little bit tilted. It seems like maybe like tilted that way a little bit. Still pretty nice. How's the surface look? Got our, get our uh, our ceiling light going in here. I don't think that I normally have that on, but oh well. Uh, pretty cool. Got all of our lights in the reflection. Okay, what do we think? Um, This would be great if this got a 10. I think it's 9 or 10 unless I'm missing something major. We're about to find out. Oh, Gem Mint 10, first edition, collector rare, Stardust. That's actually really, really nice. Okay, that's probably worth a decent amount. I mean, Toon Chaos definitely like tanked for a little bit, but either way, that's going to be a pretty nice card. Okay, so we've gotten two nines, one 10, and one 7. I don't think I went 5 for 5 with predictions this time. Final card. Let's go. Here we go. 
Let's see. If like you see this video before we've done a Grand Creators live stream, then I'm going to hopefully do it tomorrow. But if you see it after, that means my voice came back like the ne like the next day, which is tomorrow, I guess, technically for me. Oh my gosh. What is going on with that corner? Wait. Okay. Okay. That was just a little piece of something. Okay. I thought that was like a corner. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's not great on that corner. Uh, that one looks good. That one looks good. So... Top two corners are not so hot on this one. Uh, let's see. What is it? Oh, this is the guy. Oh, yeah. That's not getting a 10. I'm going to go with nine because of that almost and based on what I see. I don't remember what I guessed. This was the better of the two that I had to. Okay. Uh, borders look oh man, nice and nicely centered. Really nice looking card. Really nice looking card. Okay. Um, yeah. So I think that we are going to get a nine, unfortunately, but it could, it could sneak by that other terrible corner got a nine. So maybe this slightly not terrible, but a little bit of whitening there. I mean, if that's all there is not really the end of the world, I could see it getting a 10. Let's see. And it did. Nice. Okay, so we got two tens. They're the new cards. I mean, 2020 and 2021. Rise of the Duelist was 2020, wasn't it? Okay, so they're both from two years ago. Still cool. Yeah, that, that was disappointing for sure, getting a seven. But overall, a pretty good sub because we got the nine here. I kind of wanted a 10 on this one. Didn't get it, but that's okay. Overall, I think we did pretty good. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content because we will be doing more returns, more epic openings, etc. And I would appreciate it. Shout out to ZZ Trust Cards, Stone Flow Show, Tomato Juice, Cody J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Spanky McFarland, G Raider, and Daxter. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.